Hi all and welcome to episode 5 of Dialogue with Director and today we have Sophie and uh, she has recently been to Delhi representing Meghalaya and she'll tell you all about all this so let's hear from her so Sophie tell us little something about yourself first uh, hello everyone, I am Sophie Balari Shisha Rangtang, a class 9 student from Little Flash Secondary School, Malki, and I stayed in Malki, Klishnau itself. And so the reason why I'm here is because I managed to win the runners-up prize at the National Level Science Seminar held in Delhi at this year. Okay, so uh, what was it all about and how, how was the experience? Um, so the topic of the seminar was millets, a superfood or a diet fat. And it was about this particular topic only. It was um, like we were uh, given an, an aptitude test first to write an aptitude test of 10 marks. Then after that, uh, then comes the presentation and finally the ability of answering questions. So it was an amazing experience I, as, as I used to said. And I managed to learn so much things about the world, you know. And I managed to get to know, to make friends and to know more people. So that is all what matters at the end of the day. Was it your first trip to Delhi? Yeah, it was my first trip outside Meghalaya actually. Outside Meghalaya, yeah. wow, wow. So how was the experience? And what, what did it change in you? Did it change something in you? Yeah, first of all, it increases my confidence level to such an extent. Mm -hmm. Secondly, you know, I managed to know that the world is so competitive outside. Mm. So that is the thing. Mm -hmm. And then after that, um, I feel like presentations are such things that allow you to you know to learn so many things because it allows you to dive in a particular topic because mm -hmm. I don't really know about millets. I was completely unaware about it. But right. now I get to know a lot more. But do you it. eat it now? Uh, <laughs> I'm planning to. Yeah, you should now because yeah. you have made all big presentation on it. Yeah. And uh, yeah, so many people don't know about it. So that's a good thing. But what did you think of Delhi and you know, the whole national capital and how advanced it is? Did you travel in the metro or did you go to the Science National Museum? Mm. Just share something with us. Yeah, um, I went there in the National Science like, uh, while I was waiting for the other presentations to complete. Mm. I entered that thing and it was so advanced, so like the technology is amazing. Mm. And then I even traveled on Metro. Mm. Actually, we went from New Delhi, that is the VIP area, right. to Old Delhi. So we went through Metro. Okay. So okay. it was good. It was a great experience. So would you prefer living in like a metro setup or you're happy here in Meghalaya? I'm happy here. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So uh, talking about, um, uh, you know, uh, your scholarship, because uh, we have seen that you also have, uh, you know, you got a scholarship out of this uh, contest. So tell us something about that. What is this scholarship? Uh, it is a scholarship of 2000 per month for two years. Mm -hmm. So uh, it is a huge amount. Mm -hmm. So I am planning to use that for in order to pursue my further studies. Great. So did you know about this before, this scholarship, before you entered this contest? No, I didn't know about that. But Sir told okay. us, like my teacher, he told ah. us that we will get a foreign trip if we get the first position. Okay. But I didn't know about the scholarship. Okay, okay. Do you know there is a portal called National Scholarship Portal? I have no idea about that. Okay. So just, you know, you can Google it when okay. you go home. Okay, sure. This I want to tell to all students that there's a portal, National Scholarship Portal, NSP, and there are various types of scholarships is there and many people do not know about it. For example, this seminar, there's also a scholarship. Even I was not aware. She was not aware, but now she has got it. So, you know, uh, all students can go search this uh, NSP. Now, next, Sophie, I want to know is that, uh, do you love science? I do. Like... Science is such a subject, you know, that you get to learn about your daily life. Mm. So it is a great subject and you learn about the world, mm. like so many things. There are so many branch in science itself, like mm. physics, biology, chemistry. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So each particular branch teach you about something else. So it is a great uh, subject. Mm. I do love science. Mm. Okay. Do you like going to school? I do. What do you like in particular? Particularly... Mm, I love the teachers. They are so good. Like, okay. like apart from syllabus, like apart from books, they build us as people. I feel that because I can see some students, you know, having personal problems. They share. Mm. So that is something which is very touching to see. Mm. Teachers, you know, they build us. That's why teachers more likely. Secondly, I like the education. Means mm -hmm. Lil Flower provide the best education in okay. an affordable range. Okay. 
So, uh, but then, you know, there are many challenges in education. So, as per you, what should change in the current way in which education is being given to students? Um, like, uh, look, Do you think it's okay or there are some problems? There is something that I would okay. like to suggest. Okay. Like, we, the schools in the city, we have no problems. It means we have the facilities, mm. the infrastructure are okay, mm. teachers are coming regularly. Mm. So, we get the education which is needed and required for us. Mm. But if we remember, once Meghalaya was known as the education hub, but today we are ranking below. Mm. So, there is a decline. So, this. So why is the, that? Yeah, the main question that arises now is why? Mm. I think. Um, the main problem is with the religious schools. Maybe mm. they do not have the infrastructure, they do not have the facilities, mm. or maybe the teachers are not coming regularly. Mm -hmm. So I would like to request the government to look forward to this and try to revive and recover this issue as soon as possible. Okay, That's is the that the only reason, infrastructure and uh, teachers? Uh, in the religious school, yeah. But what about your, like, you know, your school and all that? Something you want to change in your school? My school... Uh, as per the education, it is good, mm. but yeah, I would like to suggest Little Flower School to include some co-curriculum activities as well. Okay. Like, uh, because they are, because each child is gifted in a different way. Right. Maybe they are not good in studies; they are good in some other fields, right. like other sports. So okay. I would like to, uh, like, you know, um, advise uh -huh. Little Flower to take some like into school tournaments and football or basketball. Okay. Have you heard of bagless days? Oh, yeah. Do you have bagless days in your school? This year we had. Okay. So what did you do in your bagless day? Uh, some of the kids, they dance and all. Uh -huh. We even see teachers doing basketball for the very first time okay. in our okay. school. So do you like this concept? Yeah, I do. Okay. Because throughout the busy and hectic week and days, months, mm -hmm. at least there was that particular day that you can, you know, chill and come together. Great. So what do you want to be? Uh, in the future? Yes. Hopefully... Uh, Unfortunately, will... we cannot go in the past, so yeah, yeah future. <laughs> mm -hmm. So uh, I want to be a doctor, if God grant me. Okay. Uh, I would like to go for medicine. When did you course. decide this thing? Actually, to be a doctor was always my passion since I was a kid. I would like to green. Mm. But who yeah. influenced you and like how did you make this career choice? Uh, so, I was uh, influenced by my aunt. She is a nurse, so she can encourage okay. me to go for this one. Okay, okay. So, you, have you figured out which college you will go, which exam has to be given and all that? Uh, i am not really done that, but I'll think about it. I'm not sure. Doctor, you want to become a doctor, yeah. you said. So, have you heard about AIMS? Yeah. Okay. All Indian Institute of Medical Science. Yes, yes. So, these are the best colleges. Yeah. Right, right. So, um, okay, so now that you have decided, it's very important uh, to, you know, uh, make a path, how are you going to achieve it? So for that, there's something called career counselling. So yeah. have you attended any career counselling session in your school? No, there, there was a career counselling session in my school, mm -hmm. but it was meant only for the class 10 students. So mm -hmm. that's why I did not get a chance to do that. Okay, okay. To attend it. Okay. Now, next thing, because this National Science Seminar, no, many students are not even aware, uh, you know, how to approach it and all. So, why don't you tell all the students who are listening to this, like, you know, next year, how they can participate in this and then how they can, you know, what do you think uh, will help them to prepare, you know, to even to win this contest? So, my suggestion is that uh, I, was, I was also like, I was not perfect at the beginning of the days when mm. I mm. prepared for the seminar. Mm. I was facing a lot of problems, like mm. I, my pronunciations were not good, mm. the voice modulation was not coming, mm. I didn't mm. have the ability to accept, accept question. Mm. So, if such an opportunity comes to any students in the future, mm. I, would like, uh, I would like to encourage them to go for it. Like mm -hmm. to just take it because presentations are such things that will help you to learn a, a lot more like apart from all the other like exhibition mm -hmm. or something. Mm -hmm. It is indeed a great uh, like you will achieve more knowledge. Mm -hmm. For example, it will increase your confidence level. It will allow you to drive in a, dive deeper in a particular topic. Mm -hmm. It will allow you to think outside the box because mm -hmm. if you were to have the ability to answer a question, mm. you have to think outside the box. Mm. Like I, I used to be very slow at thinking, sir. Mm. But then later on, like 
I started developing that. Mm -hmm. So it allows you to do that as well. And lastly, what it, and what is more important, it allows you to discover yourself, to find your inner abilities. So just go for it, and hopefully next time, Mikalia will definitely run through any of uh, the students that are watching this video right now. Great, great. So I was just looking at the photographs of your presentation. So you were wearing the traditional uh, yeah. dress. So whose idea was that? Uh, it was actually in the form itself okay. that come from there. Okay. It's, uh, it says that, well, you like to present your talk in traditional dress. Uh -huh. So my sister said we should go for that. Okay. That was, yeah, what that was we a actually great did. thing. Yeah, so mm. it was not easy. So those mm. stuff were very heavy, mm. but I managed to do that. Great, great. So what do you think of, uh, you know, this uh, culture and uh, the traditions and all that? Uh, you know, because in the uh, present uh, scenario with these smartphones and with the youth really busy in, you know, various other things, they are uh, forgetting about that. Hmm. So what are your views on the culture? So according to me, I feel like, you know, we should go like to the culture as well. Because, you know, we should not forget our culture just because of the modern days. Like, for example, the main thing is with the school. We should encourage our students to like to have some cultural events in the school so that you know we will be drive back to those days that we uh, like we will get to know, learn more about the culture because India is a land of diversity and that what is famous so even in Meghalaya we have so many diverse mm -hmm. so I feel like you know culture is something which is very good so there I am representing my own culture I am mm -hmm. representing Meghalaya that's mm -hmm. why I'm going with that mm -hmm. particular costume mm -hmm. So yeah, to the student that will go next also, I would mm. like to encourage to go with the traditional dress itself. Great idea. So uh, lastly, any message to the students of Meghalaya? Uh, I just would like to tell that, see, um, the only thing that you need to do is to work hard, work harder. Like just keep going, just hang in there for a bit longer time. Then you remember you are worthy. You never give up. The moment that you feel like you need to give up, that moment you should try the hardest. That's the only thing. Great. So congratulations once again on reaching the top 10 in the National Science Seminar. Thanks, so that was Sophie. And uh, I hope uh, all the students listening to this have been inspired. And next year you will take part in the National Science Seminar 2024. And, uh, you know, uh, we would like to see more participation. I attended the state level, uh, you know, screening and competition. And she was there as a winner. And I still remember, so I need to, I want you all to participate in it next time. And I hope you have learned a lot about scholarships and etc. from this episode. If you know any more great students who are doing very well in different, different walks of life, please let us know. So we'll invite them here. Thank you so much. Kublai Shibun. Mikhailan.